What's up everybody and welcome to episode 50 of my hardcore episode 50. I gotta uh, getting chills. That was some some sweet knuckle cracking action for you guys. Wanted to show you real quick my little horsey over here. He's growing up nice and uh well I, I guess nice and slow. I guess technically he would be grown up already if these chunks were loaded but um anyways we're gonna get right into this episode, I got a couple of things I want to show you guys. We got some new boots right here, courtesy, or the name courtesy rather, of um, Red3394, 3394, yes, 3394, Red3394 from the last episode, he offered the suggestion of moon shoes, and um, what better name to suit the end, or journey to the end, than moon shoes, so going with moon shoes pretty sweet and then we have uh, fancy pants and pillow both with thorns 3 and repaired fully because they need to be ready to rock and the clouds uh, repaired well the durability stopped right before there I'm not gonna waste another diamond or whatever on that you guys have uh, offered some advice to me that having thorns on your gear will reduce the durability by a lot or it will like it'll break quicker so uh, I got a couple of unbreaking books did some math knew I needed about 32 levels um, actually overshot it by quite a bit, but that's fine. We have both of these guys now with Unbreaking 3 on them. Pretty happy about that. Just to recap, our bow does have Power 5, Punch 2, and Infinite, uh, Infinity 1. So I really don't need all these arrows, but that's fine. Um, Space Jam still has uh, Sharpness 5, Knockback 2, uh, um, which we don't need. Um, we don't need anything else on there. The only th other thing that I actually want on there is probably... Uh, looting, um, but you know, it's whatever. Got my fishing rod in respect to the fishing tribe of X Hardcore, but you guys haven't seen those videos yet. But once they do come out, you'll understand why I'm bringing this uh, with the uh, with me. Got a bunch of potions, all the, basically all the potions that I had in my chest over there. Uh, some swiftness, uh, potion of healing, and fire resistance. We don't need fire resistance for this fight, but I figured I had them in the chest, so why not bring them? And then we have a couple of blocks to help us get up to any obsidian towers that we might need to get up to. But I think we'll be alright just sniping at them. Um, but we do need them anyways in case the portal puts us outside of the um, the uh, the end island we need to bridge over. Which uh, I think it does all the time. Now that I'm actually talking about it. Uh, I think it only puts you outside and you always have to bridge over to it. So going to put our snow golems on our on our hotkey here and um actually let's uh let's drink one of these just because why not throw it on the ground because we don't need it and uh whew, <laughs> let's just jump right in okay so we are on a platform so we can only hope that we don't get struck by that lovely double placement thing like uh, our our lovely tower of dirt that we fell off of okay so the ender dragon is close his health bar is being picked up oh nope it's it's away now so I think we're we're safe for the time being now my um, my plan is to get up there stack a bunch of snow put the pumpkins on and then keep these endermen at bay Let's move to the middle a little bit. He's probably going to see us pretty soon. Yep, there he is. Let's just um, take out a couple of these towers while we're still near him. And keep an eye on him. Okay, so he's over there. Okay, he's coming toward us. Yeah! We got to keep him off of us, so... Get away! He's destroying my snow! Okay. He's gonna stay over there. Snow Golem Army! Go! Keep the Enderman off of me. Okay, so now we know where he's at. Oh my gosh, look how much damage we're doing! Oh, I missed it! Ah! Oh course 
Probably should have kept this close one up. I do like the fact that if you hit him, he'll it's he'll turn around most of the time. Because we don't want to get pushed off by this guy. Let's see if we can't snipe it from here. Oh, I got it! Nice! I like the little firework sound too when you get when he gets hit by it. Or is it only when he hits by it? I don't know. Let's let's blow one up real quick and we'll see. We gotta keep our uh, keep our eyes on him. Okay. See? He'll sneak up on you like that. It's not what we want. We don't wanna do that. Is trying to keep my eyes up in the sky so we don't uh, get hit by internet. That's right, run away. Come on over here. Nah, it's, it's not gonna come that doesn't matter. Oh, I got that one. Nice. Come on, come for me. Stay by my snow golems over here. Where I know it's safe. Can I hit that one from all the way over here? Probably not. Come on, get over here. Okay, so let's, let's make our make some. Okay, no, no. Actually, does speed potion help uh, with uh, drawback? I feel like it does. I don't know, maybe... Yeah, it most definitely does. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, I was like, oh man, he's been quiet for a while. I was gonna say, where is he? Got these Endermen making all these all this noise. Get away from me! Oh, you know what I'm missing? I need my fishing rod out. That'll keep him at bay. Come here! Come here! Come here! Nope. Okay. Fine. Whatever. You go do you. Come on. No? Ah, he's flying. He's scared. He sees the fishing rod. He's like, oh, dang it. Brought a fishing rod. Yeah. Oh, no. He killed my snow goal. Pretty rude. There's a lot of snow in this place now. Ah, oh, I hate that noise. I think we got most of them. I don't see any fire on the top of that one, but I don't see an end crystal either. I wonder if he could fly through the fire and put it out. Because it's technically a block, yeah? Oh man, he is getting wrecked! Brenny Beast Dark Bow's the bow to go! Come at me, bro. I'm gonna eat some potatoes. You get kind of disoriented when you're, like, looking up in the sky a bunch. Come on. Okay. Reel them in. Oh, dang. Okay, there's still one alive over there. The thing is, I'm not really looking at the floor either. Get away from me! Which, um, is also a problem. Because, uh, sometimes there could be holes. And, uh, that's not something you want. Okay. Get 
hurry, hurry. Poking my butt. Okay, so we need a... Uh, we need another one of these. Get our draw speed up. Gotcha! Gotta lead him. Gotcha! I'm gonna try to get the, the final blow with my fishing rod if I can. Oh my gosh, he is gonna die pretty soon, guys. I think we got it. Oh. It's hard to see with all these squigglies. Come on! I think if I don't get a critical with my bow, I can get him lower. So I'm just gonna litter the sky with arrows. There we go. That's why I wanted infinity on my bow, because I just want to be able to, to pepper the skies. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta slow down. Yeah. Gotcha! No! Where's my snow golems? Save me, snow golems! Thank you. Oh. All right, all right, I gotta get rid of this guy. He's ca causing problems. Come on, bro. I'm trying to kill your family. Whatever these things are in relation to you. Come on, let's do it. Sweetness. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. He's scared? He's scared. I'm gonna kill this inner dragon with this fishing rod. Man, why is the thing so slow? Stucks his prey. Yeah, man. I can end this right now if I wanted to. But I'm gonna do this right. He's coming closer. There you are. He's coming in. Yeah. Got him once. <laughs> the thing is, with protection four on everything, you can take hits from him all day. But he has—he uh, has—he pushes you, and because uh, you don't go through him, so every time he rolls on through, uh, he is losing health. I see him losing health. I like staying next to my snow golems because they—they they unload on those Endermen. Ah! Oh, he couldn't go through that, uh, that Enderman there. If I could get another moment like that where he's just hanging out, he's kind of stuck, it'd be good. It'd be good. I wonder what would happen if I hit him with a potion of healing. If he'd get healed or not. Ah, uh, this is, this is a long fight. I'll be here till the end. I'm not moving, bro. I'm gonna stay right here. This is my spot. Come at me. Look at he's just chilling. There you go. That's the turn. That's that's not the turn. I misjudged that turn. That was a different type of turn. Yeah! Look at his health! Look how close it is! Oh, I, oh, I should have brought multiple of these. I don't have any string on me. Oh, that was a mistake. We gotta make it count. Okay, we gotta make it count. We gotta make it count. So no more, no more just flailing about and throwing- Oh, here it is. Here's the death. No, why'd you turn? Did, did a snow golem throw something at him? Oh, maybe. Where's all my snow golems too? Oh. From the side! Oh, it's so close, everybody. Shut up! Who's screaming? Here it is. Here it is. Ah, ah! I can't get two! Getting two is hard. 
Okay, I can only imagine that he has maybe one or two hits left in him from a fishing rod. Come on, come on. My heart is racing right now, guys. I don't want this fishing rod to break. Oh! Ah, here comes my army of snow golems right here. No, okay, I gotta, I gotta not go for two. Can't go for two. If we go for two, uh, we'll break this too, too soon. Go for two is too soon. Ah! I can't help it. I can't help but try for two. So let's, uh, let's take a snack break. There we go, and we're back to fishing. We're gonna get this dude. Yeah! <laughs> it's got this sprint attack going on. Come on, come on. There he is. He's trying to he's trying to flank me. He's trying to freak me out. No freak outs here, bro. This guy's mad right in front of me. He's screaming. It's like a hysterical woman when she's when something when they see a fight or something. They just scream even though they're not part of the fight. Oh! Oh! Oh, I did it! <laughs> I killed him with the fishing rod! Yeah! Oh! Oh, come on, that has to be a hardcore first. A hardcore first of killing an ender dragon with a fishing rod. Come on. Oh, that was awesome. My snow golems, they did they did a great job. And I can't believe this fishing pole. This fi we're framing this thing. Okay, so I don't see any more experience on the ground. I'm just gonna double check, yeah. No, it didn't go out that far. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> their their aim is not perfect, but man, are they um Are they uh I don't know. N efficient. There we go. Let's do a let's do a hole. A little staircase here, a little snow snow case. That's what these are called, snow cases. And now, uh, of course, we need to get the egg. So let's do that. And um, since I don't have any pistons on me, we'll put a torch underneath it, break it, and then go collect our reward. Ah, oh, beautiful, the dragon egg. Gotta take this back home right now. We we'll do a sweet, sweet 360. Let's do a 360 snowball snowball scope. Okay. That was freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, I am uh I'm shaking right now cuz I didn't think I was going to well, I don't know if I was going to die. I mean, he could have caught me and pushed me off the edge into a hole or something or an enderman could have distracted me. A, a litany of things could have happened but we killed him and not only did we kill him but we killed him with a fishing rod on hardcore that's just that's awesome um i think maybe our next i see the player you mean potato orgy um anyways <laughs> i think our next goal maybe kill the wither with a fishing rod i'm not even 100 percent sure if that's possible, but I didn't I came into this not knowing if this was possible But um, I think we need to try we need to try to kill the wither with uh with a fishing pole I don't know when that's gonna happen because that's entirely on how many wither skulls I got but I have one So we only need two more, but I don't spend a whole lot of time in the nether so I should probably um, look into uh, uh, wither skeleton farms if that's even a thing. I think it is. I think it's just like a large platform of nether brick in, in the nether and just let them spawn. Um, but we'll have to we'll have to look into that. Mm. I don't think I've ever read this whole thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They used to hear voices before players could read. Back in the day when those who, would, who did not play called the players witches and warlocks. Players dream they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. How did players how did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water, it dreamed it created, and it dreamed it destroyed, and dreamed it dreamed it hunted, and it was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. 
Oh man, look at all that text. Just like blah, 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 blah. I cannot read that thought. No, it's not yet achieved the highest level. That it must achieve in a long dream of life, not the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it? The universe is kind? Sometimes, through the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. But there are times it is sad. A long dream creates worlds that have no summer, and it shivers under the black sun. It takes a sad creation for reality. The cure of its sorrow would destroy it. Sorrow is part of its own private task. We cannot interfere. Sometimes they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them. They're building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them of their importance to the universe. Sometimes when they have not made a true connection in a while, I want to help them and speak the word they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them this world take for truth is merely and this kind of ruins the whole the whole flow of the text <laughs> when it's just kind of messed up. Mm. One of these days I'm probably going to read this whole thing, but today is not that day. We need to skip this somehow. Escape? There it is. Your home bed was missing or obstructed. It, it really wasn't. This rain is awfully loud. Oh yeah, our spawn was like right here. Oh, hey, experience. Oh wow, that was a lot of experience. Let's go inside where it's quiet. Oh wait, I don't have a roof. Never mind, it's not that quiet. We'll just stay under here, right here. Nope, okay, here. There we go. Right. This this block. So okay, there we go. Oh, no. Or how about this? We just turn that down. Alright, everybody, so that's gonna do it for this episode. Um of 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 Episode 50, I guess. Well I'll have a world download up. Um I think I said in my last episode that I was gonna finish some of the farms that were down below which I haven't done yet. Um, so maybe I'll finish those up and then, um, not those farms, but this farm down here. I was going to put in a couple, but I've been busy, so busy that I haven't gotten around to doing it. In fact, this thing isn't even working at max capacity yet because, well, these stems need to, to grow. So, um, well, I don't know. I don't know. What are you guys more, ex well, I guess it's, it's going to be too late to ask you anyways. Um, what are you guys more excited for? Just the world download in, in general or the world download with two or three more farms? Because in all honesty, I have a bunch of other farms that should tie you guys over fine. And then we have this machine here, which is uh, very nice and convenient. So maybe I'll just put the world download up just to get it out to you guys sooner. Anyways, if you like this video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with your friends to show them that the Ender Dragon can be defeated by a fishing rod on hardcore. It's very possible. And uh, maybe later we'll kill the wither with the fishing pole as well. Anyways, I'm gonna go and and go run around in excitement for a while. But um, anyways, I guess I'll see you guys Wednesday for, for another episode. An episode not as exciting as this one because I have no idea what I'm gonna do for Wednesday. If you guys want to see me work on something in particular or if you've missed something, I know a few of you have asked for the stronghold um, to go visit that because it's been a while. Uh, leave a suggestion down in the comments below. You guys are only chit-chatting a little bit. Um, I want to see more comments. I want to see you guys talking, chit-chatting, help me out. Give me uh, give me advice for moon shoes, for boot, for armor, for whatever. Uh, I think we can even name this fishing rod. Maybe we should call it the, the rod of destiny. Or maybe I'll ask the fishing tribe what I should call it, a hide from the rain here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys Wednesday.